Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is going to be about a project timer. Maybe not going to help too many of you, but if you if you have employees and you're they're drawing and you like to know how much time they spent on a customer's project, and I, you know, I did a little research. I think it started in Corel 2018 or X8. I can't find it in seven or below, but I I don't guarantee that so if you go right here and right click up here you've got project timer it's going to open this up and just go right here and start the seconds are ticking i'm going to you know change this i'm going to make it all red i'm going to fill in some things now this is things going to leak some so i'm going to just fill in a few things and we're up to you know just 17 seconds and I want to go to lunch. We're at 22 seconds. I can go to lunch, come back, start my timer, start. I can actually shut Corel down for, you know, minimize it for just a second. Minimize, I, as you can see, I opened up a bunch of these so I could see where it is. And then we're going to be gone a little while and we're going to come back and open it back up. Well, we don't want to do it there. We want to do it here. And it's now just started ticking again. Because I let's double check that. Make sure. So like 32 seconds, I'm going to minimize it at 36. We'll talk a little bit about it. And, you know, I'll be a few seconds. So started by, you can see I got a, quite a few corrals open. Let's open it back up. And it's at 37. So it stops when you close it down and when you went to lunch. There's a bunch of settings. You can have different tasks. Uh, you can actually go here and change some things. You know, when Corel's been out of focus, another document is in focus. Uh, project timer panel on, you know, track, pauses, button, track, task name, timer, you know, inactivity, 15 minutes. That's, that didn't, you know, that's way too long before inactivity, but it's pretty cool. We've been working on this about 45 seconds and we can turn it off. We can, you know, there's on, off, pause. Um, I don't know how many people are going to use this, but it would be kind of handy. Um, I might even start using it for making my videos so I know how long my videos are. I try to make my videos short, but it's right here. You right click and you can get rid of it right there. Matter of fact, let's see if it's still clicking when we minimize it. Look at that. It's still clicking. So I could get rid of that taskbar and still have it behind the, but then you'd probably forget to turn it off. Anyway, not going to help that many people, but just putting it out there. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.